When you're dealing with an infant that is not breathing, has no heart rate, you need to be sure of what you're doing and correct every time. We needed opportunities to develop our staff in their pediatric expertise. Pediatrics are not small adults, and we know that. This is Dr. Barrow, may I help you? In 2004, Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota established simulation-based team training. The goal was to allow physicians, nurses, and other team members to train in pediatric and neonatal emergency care in a risk-free environment. Um, you want to get the suction? She's got a lot of secretions there. I'd like a second line, please. Can we get okay. Medrol, please? We don't see enough of the critical situations to become comfortable with our skills, our roles, our thought processes, unless you practice it all the time. Got it. Yep. Three years later, the Coles Mobile Simulation Center was launched focusing solely on pediatric and neonatal emergency care in its state-of-the-art mobile training facility. It's not like just going to a conference or reading articles. It is actually experiencing the care and then having the opportunity with the team to debrief and talk about what those learnings are. And I believe that's driven collaboration to a different level for pediatric staff. So what do you notice about her? She's breathing here. Her chest is moving up and down. Led by children's nationally recognized experts, the 40-foot simulation center is equipped with the latest technology and can be converted into a neonatal or pediatric emergency setting using age and size appropriate mannequins from a premature newborn to a young child. And the technology is incredible. What they can make that baby do or have symptoms of, it's great. I thought it was very, very educational for everyone there. All of us were seasoned nurses and all of us thought it was probably one of the best experiences we had ever had because it just, it puts you in that emergency mode and when you have a baby that can respond with bad respirations, grunting, noises. Ooh, ooh, she is blue. Dr. Blue, fourth floor. Can you help me in here? It really makes you think and you have to think rapidly and you have to work as a team. Great job, everyone. Now it's time for the debrief, which we're gonna do back Debriefing here. is key to the simulation's effectiveness and is facilitated by children's instructors, specially trained in debriefing. So what is it that made you call a trauma code? Well, they said that he fell and he had altered neurologic status, and so I'm assuming he had his head injury. In any situation, not even just trauma, I mean anything where you feel like, I need some extra hands, call it and you can send them back later. Yeah. It was a very good decision to go to the I.O. right away after having failed the mm -hmm. line the first time. The second time around, people got a little more comfortable being filmed, a little more comfortable with the idea that we were going to not necessarily critique each other, but really analyze how this went. It's challenging to actually put it together. And At the say, completion of okay, each scenario, facilitators help participants identify so what worked well during the simulation and what areas need improvement. The instructors also allow time to practice low frequency skills. Tube is not going in. We had difficulty with intubation in one of these and that happens in real life and it was actually very realistic and I don't think that anybody was thinking this is fake. This, is, this was real. When we were doing the simulation bus, there was a whole conversation going on about the correct procedure for something that I had requested. And I was completely unaware that people were somewhat in doubt about what I had wanted or how they were to carry out that particular procedure. So it, it was a great learning experience for everybody involved. Our communication the first time around was nothing like it was the last. Each scenario, we got better and better and better. The team was good at really delegating tasks. Who was going to do this? Who was going to work on this? Because the simulation training center is mobile, children's can share its expertise with other hospitals across the upper Midwest. I'd say pick up the phone and call. Just do it because you will provide much better care than you currently do. And when your staff is more confident and comfortable, patients are getting better care. That's the ultimate win-win, and that's why we're here.